Hi everyone, my name is Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is the start of something very exciting and that is my like 50th attempt to do a sim series. <laughs> I have a horrible, horrible um, past when it comes to filming and uploading sims videos on my channel. Basically, I just kind of like stop posting my Sims videos, even though I continue to film film them. I just like don't edit them. So then I fall behind and eventually I get so far behind that I just stop in general. And I'm like, nope, that's the end. But, you know, in 2023, I'm feeling a lot better about my um, YouTube Sims life. Like I can feel myself being a simmer um, and I'm crossing my fingers that it will come true because this challenge just has so much passion behind it and I would hate for the creator to find my video and be like so excited to watch me play her uh, challenge and then be just like fall off and not post anymore. But in 2023, I have a very ambitious life and a very ambitious YouTube channel, like ideas and upload schedule. So I think just making time to play The Sims for YouTube will also give me time to play Sims in general because I don't really think that I will be playing much Sims come 2023 later in the year. You know, I just don't, I don't really foresee it happening. So I would like to make sure I can at least get about two hours of Sims gameplay in every month because this will be a bi-weekly uh, upload. It'll be every Friday, well not every Friday, but every other Friday. That's the plan. Cross your fingers that it will work. Please, please, please. But I have been feeling the mood to play a Sims Legacy Challenge. And this is a new one. It is very new. It came out a month and a half ago or so. And it is called the Lucid Legacy, created by Lucid Simmer. I will leave her link down below in the description box, along to the link where you can find the rules for this challenge. And of course, her own Let's Play on this Legacy Challenge. This is created for The Sims 4. And I don't know if you know this about me, but I hate The Sims 4. It, I, I dislike it with a very, very big passion. So we're going to play it in The Sims 3. We might have to adjust some of the rules, bend a few of them, but hopefully we can try and keep it as real and uh like as real to the original, especially because I have all of the Sims 3 expansion packs and custom worlds. So I feel like that could help me a little bit more so when we get to the generations where we own a retail store. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Okay, cross your fingers that I can get it to work, but I'm not positive that I will. So real quick, let's talk about the challenge before I introduce the Sim that we're starting off with, our founder, as well as the lot which I built, so please be kind to me, I'm not a builder, okay? But I really tried to go all out with the story and kind of craft it to fit the legacy that we're going to have. So settle in because it's time for Madison to start explaining something and she goes off the rails. So, so I will leave, like I said, the actual thing that I'm reading off of in the description box if you would rather read it instead of listen to me. Trust me, I will understand. Just mute me or skip. It's a little, it's fine, okay? I won't be mad. But generation one is called the farmer family. The simple life is life for you. Tending to your farm, nightly family dinners, and knowing everyone in your community, you're living the small town dream. You and your partner are best friends. Not only best friends, but almost the same person. You have the same goals in life and help each other achieve them. First thing, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I will explain why in a second, but no. Uh, Lucid Simmer, if you're watching this, please don't come at me. I promise I have an explanation. Working together to grow your garden and take care of your animals is only the beginning. Once you start having children, something you've always dreamed of, your farm only expanded from there. Everyone in the house has their own jobs, whether that be cleaning, gardening, cooking, tending to animals, etc. You make money by selling your own products, and over time, you become the biggest family-run farm in town. We will be the only family-run farm in town, alright? Although you love all of your children, as you get older, you realize that there needs to be someone to pass your land on to. You've worked so hard it, on it your whole life, after all. Wow, my god, I can't read. Um, 
Out of all your children, there seems to be a clear choice on who it should be. You live your last days preparing this child to run the farm once you pass and feel comfortable in knowing they will continue your legacy. Let's see how good we go at that, okay? Okay. The goals are to have the family oriented and loves the outdoor traits. I promise you both of the Sims. Oh, wait. Maybe, maybe the other Sim doesn't. But the founder does okay complete the country caretaker aspiration we don't have that in the sims 3 throw it out the window max the gardening skill we can do must live on a 50 by 40 lot i think this lot is a 40 by 36 i'm not gonna live in that big of a lot in the sims 3 it will lag so bad uh but i also just really love the location of this lot that i picked basically every time i play in sunset valley i pick this lot i love it so I'm not upset by it. Start on only a portion of your lot and expand throughout your life until the lot is a farm. The entire lot is a farm. And I'm really excited about this because like I said, I I went through and I spent like two hours decorating and building this lot to the best of my abilities to kind of make it fit like a rundown piece of land with obviously, as you guys can see, just a very small hut on it and it will eventually become a big farm. There's even a little barn uh, in the back of the lot that I built, and I'm excited to show you guys that. Have a partner with the same aspiration? No. Whether you create them in cast or have them meet in game? No, 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 no. The partner is going to be a horse rider, and I didn't want my, the, my founder, her name is Eden. She's gonna be the gardener, and then the one we meet does not have the same aspiration as her, but is going to be a jockey, is going to be a horse rider. Um, I'm sorry, Lucid Simmer. I just, I can't do the same aspiration every time. In fact, I didn't even pick the garden aspiration. I picked a very hard one that I've never completed, and I'm afraid I'm not going to complete it here either, but I promise I'll do my best, okay? I'll do my best to do both. I'll do my best to complete both of them, okay? I promise. Both aspirations, I'll do my utmost top tier effort to get them completed. We need to have at least three kids with our partner, we need to win at least two town fair contests. We can change that to like the pie eating contest or some crap. Okay, because we don't have those in The Sims 3, but we do have the jockey races. So we could say try and win two of those, but that won't be very hard. So, no, no, we'll do that because I need some easy wins, okay? We need to have simple living lot trait challenge on your home. Don't worry. I already have, I have a mod in my game. I've had it for months at this point where we have to actually go buy the ingredients to make the food and we're gonna have a garden so it will work. And then I need to unlock the people person lifestyle. No idea what that is. But hopefully Eden's lifetime wish will make up for that. So let me give you a little tour of the lot. This is it. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys it. So much time and effort went into it. Um, and then I'll show you guys Eden. So let me give you a quick little over. Oh, you guys can actually see her right there. But let me give you a quick little overview. So this is the lot. It is, uh, if you play Sims 3 in Sunset Valley, it's the one by this beautiful lake. I love this one. So let's just... Let's move in, okay? I was going to do the cool showy type thing, but we don't move very fast. So this is going to be Eden's starter house. And the idea is that this will maybe eventually be upgraded to be a on like in-law suite or a guest house. Something like that. Maybe like a game room because I don't want to ever destroy this. I want the feel like I want us to build around kind of the already on lot structures and prove them yes but not remove them so this is her little hut and inside it is a very small little house we have a mini fridge a disgusting I tried to make it look as grimy as I could um because obviously it's a very small hut. We do not have a lot of money, a lot of anything. And I even have this little custom content sink right here that I'm excited to use. I also have this. I am unsure if this works or not for clothes, so we'll find out. But that's her little hut. It's not very big. I got some ivy growing on it. Um, I tried to make this over right here 
it was not cooperating with me okay and then we have some dirt paths over here we have a, a well and we have some fruits growing around it already i placed these in build by by mode so we didn't plant them but i thought it'd be it would make sense to kind of have some plants growing because this is like really wet soil and like maybe the well kind of like leaks or something i'm unsure i don't really know it's a well they don't really leak but it's a very moist area and i kind of like to think it comes from the water over there so that's the whole idea over here we have where we're gonna have our garden as you guys can see this is kind of run down and destroyed basically there's a whole story about how eden just kind of like picked up from her family she wanted to get away from the lifestyle that she was raised and so she just took what very little money she had made as a teenager and moved somewhere completely different from where she grew up so we'll get into it later but this is like just like a rundown stuff that this was already here on the lot and she just kind of like went with it you know she just bought this outright from like the city it was in foreclosure um it was a failed farm and she decided to buy it and make it a farm again she's never gardened at all in her life so she has no idea what she's about to be getting into the hardships nothing not a single thing but it'll be fun it'll be fun and then i needed to include this because i found it in debug debug sorry and it's so cute so we have some logs of wood and then we have the barn that is in disarray i love this i tried to make it look as like bad as possible basically i wanted the barn doors but if you don't know the sims 3 then you don't know that to have the barn doors you need at least the two-story uh barn um and we we're not there okay maybe in the future we'll eventually get there to have a two-story barn but right now no we don't okay okay but yeah this is the barn and there's nothing up in this room it just makes it look more like a barn you know um and like the colors match because i imagined you know the people who used to kind of live here and farm here maybe it wasn't really like a farmhouse and maybe they like lived like in an rv or something and they were trying to like build a uh a, a healthy growing farm heck maybe this used to be their old house and it's just they tried to like fix it up to sell and nobody would buy it because of its location and then they maybe they one person died and the other one just was like throw it to the bank i don't want it anymore and so I tried to show that with it but yeah this is the barn uh eventually we'll have a horse or two living in here maybe this is like the old appliances that was in the house uh, some boxes the grass has grown in we got some oil i don't know why there's barrels here of oil but there are a nice broken chair but at least eden has a place to sit um, and then over here is our little outhouse. Oh, look how cute it is. It's a little outhouse. Um, it felt needed for this type of house. So the outhouse is a little bit far away from the main compound, but tis task, who cares? You know what I mean? Who cares? And then the last part of our farm is the clothesline right here. And yeah, that is the farm. It is right here. If you've never played The Sims 3, it is way far out of town and I have gone through and moved lots around added some stuff as you guys can see I have the bistro right here and moved the law enforcement over here and the firefighters place Ooh, and then because we're gonna be like super family oriented I actually placed this from Aurora skies which is just a super big building that has a whole bunch of kid stuff in it so I'm excited to kind of play around with this and you know just kind of be super family oriented you know so yeah um that's kind of the world i didn't change too much i added some lots up here and uh this is where we're going to live and this is the lot that will change we'll take down some trees replant new ones throughout our time here on the farm and then uh see this place become an actual full-fledged breathing living garden and i'm 
super excited to kind of play and see where it goes. Um, so yeah, let me introduce you guys to this sim. Let me introduce you to Miss Eden Cadwell, the founder, I almost said heir, but the founder of The Legacy, and I'm very excited to play with her. I kind of went all in on her genetics to kind of do my best to get them as different as possible. I do have the random genetics mod in my game, so there's that, but let me introduce you to Little Miss Eden. Um, Eden Cadwell is over-emotional, loves the outdoors, to check, uh, clumsy, family oriented to check, and a hopeless romantic because she marries her best friend. You know what I mean? She likes the color red, spaghetti, and kids music, and she is a Virgo. And then, forgive me, Lucid Dreamer. Lucid Simmer, I'm sorry, <laughs> not Dreamer, but Lucid Simmer because I gave her the super popular aspiration instead of the have a perfect garden with eight perfect plants or whatever. I can't do it, guys. I can't have a garden aspiration. My heart won't let me. But I thought this was kind of a good alternative because I don't know what the country living lifestyle aspiration in The Sims four is aside from a tutorial um screw you sims 4 but this is where we have to be friends with 20 sims and it's a challenge i've given this to several of my own current household sims and never completed it ever ever so maybe this time i'll do it i'm gonna do my best and it just seems to fit because we need to be super like close knitted with the community and with the town. So I feel like I feel like it's good. I feel like it's perfect. So yeah, she doesn't have a best friend yet. But let me show you who she's going to end up marrying. So yeah, this is him. I gave him a makeover. I gave Miss Yumi a little makeover, little grandma right here. And then of course, his son Sam, who I also did indeed give a little bit of a makeover to. But this will be our future husband, our future bestie, and also, of course, the rest of our family. So we'll have to have at least four kids, um, including Sam, because we need to have three with our partner, and Sam is not from Eden. It's, he's just from Layton. So I'm super excited to get close with them and then sell their house so we can build a little farmhouse for all of them to move into. So now I think we'll just start playing i am really unsure how we should start playing but i guess since it's the first day in a new save there aren't really needs to take care of there are the basic loading screens to take care of yeah like this one random genetics has started story progression's been activated um i no, we're not doing that. Not yet, anyway. That's in that's a later generation. Um, I do need to go to uh, City Hall and change settings to make sure that we don't have Sims get married and then have, God forbid, a hyphen name. Oh my gosh, it's horrible, you guys. So I need to do that before we really get into the meat and bones. Maybe we should go to Central Park? Maybe there'll be some people that start to show up. And I guess if not, at least we can fish. That is not a, a skill that we need to get up. But it'll, we can use them to improve our gardening. And then I'm just gonna, just gonna do some cheats real quick to make sure that this sim does not get enrasped into dating some other people. Um, please don't do that to me. Okay. <gasps> yes yes oh my god you're here you're here okay if you don't know who this is this is justine keaton aka a sim in sunset valley that no matter who you are what computer you play as soon as you load in sunset valley justine is pregnant with a baby boy and she is married to a sim named marty and they have a cute little house and I want us to be besties with her because she's going to have a kid and hopefully she'll have more than one kid so that kind of like Eden can ask her some questions about being a mom when she eventually gets pregnant. Maybe they can have like a baby, like they can both have their own baby super close together and then those kids can be besties. Hopefully, like that's what I, that's what I picture 
as soon as I think Justine Keaton, I want us to be best friends with this girl and her husband and then her kids and just like do like family dinners sometimes, like maybe like weekly get togethers, just something with her. Be oh, okay. Yep. Uh, hello. Thank you for the free 20 simoleons, but we're not going to college. Also, look how bright that water is. We know this isn't inspired off of America. <laughs> sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but um i could how could i resist and okay and then there's more sims over here there's emma hatch and blair wainwright cyclone sword we're going to ignore him no offense but we are a top-notch policewoman. I have to control my hot-headedness at work will becoming my a mother help my me have help well, becoming a mother helped my to have more patience. There's a, there is a, it wasn't just me. There is a spelling error there. But is it, this is new, and I have not updated the discussions, the deep conversations mod. But I like that that's there. Even though it might be the same thing over and over again. I like that that's there. So, talk about the great outdoors. Let's do some funny interactions. Just because... I want to become best friends with this girl. And I do want to feel her tummy and all that. But it seems a little weird, you know, because we just met. Oh, okay. A little blossoming romance. <laughs> Love to see it. Love to see it. Who's over here? Um, Holly Alto, Vita, and Nick. Wow, look at that. They are all sitting at the same table, if you can believe it. Um, why are you not talking to her anymore? Come on. You need to be best friends with this girl besties b-e-s-t-i-e-s -E -E Ooh, what's coming on over here we have gus hart and dory hart um i love her pants i really do those are cute oh who is this okay buster is running he's got uh he's got fish to pick up you know what i mean i don't know he's got a fish Ooh, oh molly molly is a single mom i want to become friends with her too okay the the, the park was the place to be. It is popping. And as soon as we become friends with Justine, as soon as we become friends, we can move on to uh, meeting some other Sims. Come on. Feel tummy. I want to become friends with her and also feel her tummy. Ooh, who's that? That is, oh, River McIrish. Okay. Yay, look at them bonding all so cute. Listen to Tummy. What if you ask about her career? What does she do? Is she a policewoman? I mean, yes, yes, I do. Of course I want to be friends with you. Yay. Okay, become friends with somebody. And that should be our first friend of 20. At this rate, We'll be banging out a friend every episode. But hopefully we can kind of get as many friends as possible before we start having a big garden and a horse or two and children to take care of. Like the more Sims we have to watch over, the less time we're going to have to be able to leave the house. So I would really like to kind of get a lot of the friends, you know, taken out of ticked off the boxes off the list before we start having a super duper large and big family. Who else is here? Ooh, okay, what is going on over here in City Hall? Uh, ooh, I gave Thornton a makeover because it was a brief second that I thought we would get with him. Oh, okay, here's Layton. Let's go say hi to Layton. What are we protesting? We're protesting ladybugs. Okay, I don't know if I can get behind that one, y'all. I like ladybugs, but I will say hello to Layton. Hi, Layton. How are you doing? Hello, hello. A funny story. Do these, do this, do this, and do that. Um, if you don't have The Sims 3 and you don't have The Sims 3 University, <gasps> Marty, hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, my attention span is apparently really low. But that is like the best way to get relationships up super quickly in The Sims 3 is just to bombard them with the internet. So that's what we shall do. Is Marty still here? Because I don't want him to leave. I just want to say hi and like meet him. 
Though we are friends with Justine, so maybe we can kind of like, we don't need to meet him right away. We can, oh, no, wait. Oh, okay, let's let's say hi to all these people. They just stopped their protesting to say hello to Eden. Of course they would. Like, in my mind and in this world, I feel like everybody knows of Eden. And if you actually know Eden, then you're the lucky one because she is like such a sweet and super kind hearted soul. Everybody wants to be friends with her and wants to know her and meet her kids and just hang out at her house and her family because they are just so welcoming and so kind. And I feel like that's why she would know everybody in the community. It's because like she's such a kind and sweet person. And here is Maria. Hi. Ah. Okay. This is a sim I made j because I was working on a story. And I just ended up putting her in the world. But she is so freaking beautiful of a sim that I I love her so much. I want her to have kids with somebody in this sims game just because she's so pretty. Um, I just, she's here and I love her and she's gorgeous. So. Let's get to know Layton again. He's the most important to this uh, to this generation and possibly the entire uh, franchise of this legacy challenge because if we don't get with him, we ain't having any kids. I'm sorry, I am very, very certain that Layton is the one, you know? Layton is the one. Okay, so Layton just said, I like what I'm seeing. Let's be friends. And um, I don't know if well enough to call them friend is Spiffy. I want to make sure I click the right one. Okay, we want to ha now have five friends. We have two of five and then we'll have five of 20. And at that point, we'll practically be friends with everybody in town. Just kidding. Um, there's quite a lot of Sims. Uh, astound them. And we're good friends. Yes, they have hit it off. So, <gasps> oh my goodness. Perfect. You're playing into the story so, so freaking well, Eden. Obviously, we're not going to kiss him right off of the bat. Because I want them to be, be not only do they need to be best friends first, um, but... Like, I want them to be friends for at least a day before they start making out, getting married, and having babies. Um, we need to meet his mom and his kid because he is a dad. So I feel like he would definitely want to see how well somebody gets on with his child before he even thinks of dating them. So we need to meet Sam, like, as soon as possible. So I think we will finish up talking to Layton and then go home for the night simply because it's getting a little bit late and we do need to start a garden tomorrow because if the only way we're going to make money is off of our plants and eventually Layton being a cowboy, riding horses and being a jockey for uh, money, then we need to look how cute they are but we need to start making some money so we need to start planting some plants um uh oh my game froze hello hello okay um okay it's like i've been open for too long close me right now not right now maybe later maybe later but um, yeah, because I don't want us to get a horse until we have the barn fixed up and furnished, or maybe not furnished, but make it a barn. Um, ooh, Vita and Nick are having a, a raccoon, a raccoon. Hello, 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 hello. Let's watch the raccoon. Um, anyway, I don't want us to even get a horse until the barn is fixed up. And I don't want to fix up the barn until we can, like, afford it. Technically, the walls don't need to match. But, like, if we're fixing up the barn, they probably would. So we need to fix up the barn and then get some floorboards in here. And then we can even, we, then we can talk about getting a horse. But until then, we can't talk about getting a horse. My own rules, of course. But can we have a pet raccoon? Where's the raccoon? No, did it say goodbye? No. <gasps> You're right here. 
go pet the raccoon. I want a pet raccoon. Please. Can I have that in this game? You can in The Sims 4. Oh, it won't let us pet it. Fine. Goodbye, raccoon. We don't need you as a pet anyway. We can't afford pets. Not right now in our 216 simoleons. So, yeah. So, even though she didn't plant these plants around the little, um well i almost said wishing well and i knew that was wrong granted i guess you could wish for this it's like not actually in the sims game but in real life i guess you could try and make a wish out of this well but um i do want to still harvest these plants and maybe take care of them for a little bit until we can afford to maybe add a house and then instead of plants they'll just be shrubs if it was the sims 4 then I would put like plants that have flowers in them and not fruits and vegetables. But we don't have plants like that in The Sims 3. So for right now, it will be um, produce. And then we'll move our produce, produce over here and then into this circular area once we get more money to fix up the farm. And uh, it'll be a fun little, it'll be so much fun so much fun i'm actually really excited to kind of go through the steps of fixing up a lot like this obviously it is not in super disarray because i just could never i would never go through the effort to do that much but it isn't super fancy and super nice like we're starting off rough and we really do need to work our way up and i'm just excited to kind of play that because I don't usually, like, usually I'm just like, yeah, no, I'll just get inheritance for them. But based on Eden's backstory, she would not get inheritance from her parents. Her parents don't even know where she is right now, and I doubt they care. So, really, in all honesty, she's gonna have to work for her money and, uh, or marry, uh, or marry into it, <laughs> and then sell the house, and boom, bam, bing, she'll have a family then. But we're going to plant some plants in this little planter. Wow. Talk about planting a lot. But I really like this item. I want to use it so bad. I've never used it, but I've had it in my game for several months at this point. And it is a, just like a custom content barrel that you can put two plants in. It's just super cool. I want to use it. And I will also have to go around in my off time and curve these along this path because I I mean, that's what I wanted to do in the first place, so I'll have to curve it, but... Okay. You stink. So let's head into town and stop by the workout facility. Maybe we'll meet some more sims here because sometimes this gym can be popping. Absolutely smacking a popping. So we'll have to pop in here and take a look at what we can see. Ooh, we got invited to a party. Heck yeah, we'll be there. Why the frickity frackity heckity not? You know, it's a party. Of course we'll come. Of course we come. Okay, who is this? This is Mirage. It looks like today is not a day that the gym is a pippity poppity. Oh, maybe I spoke too soon. Hello, we have Parker. We have Claire. I want to say hi to Claire. Um, we have Gus. Okay, just a few sims, but sometimes this place can be super popular. Um, all love seems to be eternal. Marty was seen recently st stealing a peck on the cheek from uh, Justine. How cute. They are what we aspire to have. She got in a taxi to go say hello to Claire, so we're not doing that anymore. But we'll come to the summer festival because it's right across the street from the gym. So we need to take advantage of it. And there's stuff to do, food to eat, all of it. Ooh, but there's free food, so we'll eat, we'll eat that first. Of course, we'll take advantage of the free food. Though we are going to that party. That's right. I forgot. I forgot we got invited to a party. Okay. Um, what should we do? You know what? Let's come over. Uh, it's not that dark though to see fireworks. I was gonna light a firework in a celebration. Oh, Keisha Tanner, who are you? I don't know, but we'll say hi to you. Um, in celebration of the start of this new series and of a new year. But I guess we'll 
it's not super dark yet though, so you won't really be able to see it. And then it will kind of just be pointless. Okay, who else is here? Justine, oh, well, let's go say hello. Um, Monica, let's say hi to Monica, meet Tamara. Let's say hi to Tammy. Let's come over here and say hi to Madison Van Watson. We need to become best friends with Madison over here. No particular reason. And it has nothing to do with the fact that we share a first name. No idea what you're talking about. No, 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 not at all. Look how pretty Justine is. I kind of feel like I should maybe give her a different hairstyle, but she's already such a pretty Sim in general. Like, Sim's team did a great job making her. A fantastic job. Um, will somebody feed their kid? Just asking. Also, where is Molly? Wasn't this her party? Oh, there's Molly. Okay. Um, okay, Madison Van Watson is not being very nice to us. So maybe we'll wait to try and become friends with her. I don't want us to have any enemies. That's for certain. <laughs> Especially not one that's... Okay, is nobody... Okay, you know what? I can... Uh, excuse you. Get away from Tamara Layton. You can't have any romantic relationships. I know I turned them off for you. So I'm sorry. Get away from her. A stick, remember? A 10-foot stick. Wouldn't it be cool if they replaced all the roads in town with swimming pools? Okay, we'll talk about it, but I don't think she... I mean, apparently, she agrees with that fact. Personally, I wouldn't. But, you know, I, I'm not eating Cadwell, okay? It is getting pretty late, so I think I'm going to send her home. And I actually think I'm going to end this part here. Simply because, you know, this was the... St oh, okay, I just wanted to zoom in. But this was... Okay, excuse you. This was the first part in this new Legacy series. So it had the opening, like the rules and the house and land tour. So it might have not been the most interesting, but I hope my personality was enough to help you guys get through it and stick with me because I have some really fun ideas planned. And also I like to talk about Sims. So if you'd like to listen to people talk about passions, I'm right here up your alley. But I have a feeling that in the next part, we are going to maybe meet Yumi and Sam Sakamoto. Maybe we'll go over to their house for dinner one night. I'm not super sure what we're going to do because uh, Layton does currently work in the athletic career whatever that's actually called like the sports career or whatever which is one reason why I think he'd be perfect to be a jockey because he's already in the sports career just he'll be self-employed and it'll fit in with the whole farm aesthetic and all that so we'll have to see maybe we'll have to have him quit that job just so that we can have a family dinner maybe a little lunch I'm unsure but we need to meet Sam and Yumi so we can start kind of dating him getting a relationship and we also need to expand our farm a little bit because we gotta make that moolah especially if we want to get ma right so yeah um thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys liked it if you have any suggestions or tips or anything you would like to see in this legacy challenge please tell me down below in the comment section but also, don't forget to go and check out the creator of this fantastic legacy challenge, Lucid Simmer. I know from experience that trying to create a challenge is so much work, which is why I have hidden mine from the universe. But I did, in fact, create a four-generation challenge based on the seasons. So, fun fact about me, it's probably somewhere on Tumblr. I can't tell you where, but I do have distinct memories of posting it on Tumblr. So if you want to look for it, feel free. <laughs> and then tag me on Instagram if you find it. Okay, please do that. Embarrass me. Anyway, but yeah, I am so excited to continue on with this legacy challenge. I hope you guys like the Sim Eden, and I hope you like where the story is going so far. Thank you so, so much for watching. Adios. Hey, Dua. Goodbye, and hey, do not forget, I am still a freaking bulldozer. Mwah!